Hey guys, I'm here with a quick review for The Cable Guy. This is directed by Ben Stiller and is 1996, so just remember that it's all about cable. Nobody uses cable TVs anymore. Nobody even uses satellite anymore. Well, that's probably not true, but I mean, if you know what you're doing, you're not using satellite anymore. So, cable's quite extinct. Um, but this is from another time period. There's a ton of famous comedy actors in here. It's directed by Ben Stiller, and there's this bizarre, like, gag going where Ben Stiller's playing two characters at the same time, and one of the characters murdered the other one, and it's just, it is so bizarre. So, while this is a subverting movie, it goes exactly how you'd expect it. I mean, it's Jim Carrey, so you already know what to expect. I can't say I'm always in the mood for a Jim Carrey performance, but um, I, I would be lying if I said I didn't find it entertaining, right? It's just, it's always so ridiculous that it's better than like some forgettable actor I would even think twice about. So, yeah, it's a very short movie, very grounded, simple premise. It's basically about Ferris Bueller. He basically, um, no, Matthew Broderick. He's, his name is Steven. He's a very regular, dull, boring guy. There's actually nothing exceptional about him at all. He is not anything like his Ferris Bueller self. He's not charming. He's not charismatic. There's not a single defining character trait about him. He is like complete average Joe. That's probably on purpose because um, the contrast to him is obviously the cable guy. So he hires this cable guy to install his new cable on his TV. And what should be a simple job turns, he like, He's, this cable guy has some very devious plans, right? He claims to not have plans, but I don't entirely believe that. He's basically, he's a very lonely, troubled man. And he is low-key kind of psychopathic. He's extremely good at manipulation. He can plant seeds in people's minds, and he knows exactly which buttons to press. So it's interesting how he's so unable to connect with people, despite fully understanding everything about the human psyche. That's what I found fascinating. Like he understands, he understands people way better than anyone else could, but he's unable to connect with them. And like you know, see, he has to do these cheap tricks, or he thinks he has to do these cheap tricks to get a friend. So he basically just—he's done this before. So he stalks his victims, um, all of his cable clients, and he was actually fired from the cable company. So really, in reality, this is just some lonely, troubled, mentally ill man who stalks Steven throughout the movie and is basically hell-bent on destroying his life if he can't be a part of it. He either wants to be his best friend or his worst enemy. There's no in-between, it's just, it's extreme ends. So, he's, he's the villain. The Cable Guy is absolutely the villain. Jim Carrey, he, you know, he does redeem himself at the, at the ending, to no surprise to anyone, but he's still the bad guy. He is 100% the bad guy here. And, um, yeah. I don't have a lot to say about this movie. It's an hour 30 long. It's basically Jim Carrey's show. He does his own thing. There's some very forgettable characters in there, like um, Jack Black's quite forgettable. What's that other one? The, the, the blonde haired guy that did Night at the Museum as the cowboy. He's quite forgettable as well. So there's a lot of famous actors in here, but honestly, their characters were... You could have cast them as anyone else, and it wouldn't change anything. And I think that's probably the biggest weakness of the movie. You have such an amazing cast, and they're just not doing anything. You know, Ben Stiller, while it's funny, it is, it has, it's nonsensical and means nothing, right? There's no point in it to it. Um, and uh, Matthew Broderick, again, it's like... This is Ferris Bueller. This is a big deal. Why, did, why is he so boring? Why did you cast Matthew Broderick? Maybe he just doesn't want to be there. I don't know. He looked, he just looked bored the entire film and like he didn't want to be there. So I don't know if that was a specific direction that was requested for him or if he just didn't feel like doing the movie. So I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Personally, don't recommend it. Um, it's kind of nightmare fuel. It's not that funny. It's like I chuckled once or twice, but it's actually surprisingly unfunny for a comedy with so many comedic actors in there. It's like... It's more of a satire, nightmare, feel, stalker scenario than a comedy. There's not like, there's barely any jokes. It's just the cable guy trying to ruin Steven's life as best as he can. So, 5 out of 10, not for me. Wouldn't recommend it.